While obviously pharmacies and medicine can get complicated, in most common situations, it's pretty easy to conquer. You have two general options or a mix of the two. Before you leave, look up the words you'll need to describe the problem you're having. If you have a headache, you should be able to say headache or dolor de cabeza. Dolor all alone is a great word to know. It means pain. So dolor de would be pain of, then say whatever's hurting. Or your second option is to just mime your way through. Point to your head and make a pain expression, point to your nose and sniff a little, you know how it goes. But you're here to speak to the natives and their mother tongue, right? Well, let's do this then. We'll go to the first example, then come back here, I'll explain what happened, then I'll show it to you again. Hola, buenas. Do, doler de cabeza, mm -hmm. algo para. ¿Y cuánto cuesta? Cinco. Cinco okay. I walked in and said, doler de cabeza. It should have been dolor de cabeza, which is headache. He handed me something right away and I asked, cuánto cuesta? How much does it cost? He answered, cinco cuarenta cinco, five forty five. I said, okay, gave him the money and left with my headache medicine. Simple enough, no? Hola, buenas. Do, doler de cabeza, algo para. ¿Y cuánto cuesta? Cinco cuarenta cinco. Okay. In this next one, she asked me a question I wasn't expecting. Hola. Tengo dolor de cabeza. Sí. Ya. Yeah. Algo. Ah, yeah. uh, tiene ibuprofen. Sí. De seiscientos. ¿Cómo? De seiscientos. ¿El fuerte? Sí. ¿Cuánto cuesta? Uno con noventa. Así esto se ha topado. Muchas gracias. Ay. Buen día. I walked in and said, Tengo dolor de cabeza. I have a headache. She said, See, then there was some awkwardness. Get used to awkwardness like this. It's a sure sign that you're totally out of your element and absolutely 100% doing exactly what you're supposed to be doing. She came back with something and I forget what it was, but I wanted ibuprofen. I hadn't looked that up, so I guessed. I just said the same word, but in a Spanish way, sort of, kind of. Ibuprofen? It worked. She went to the back to get something and suddenly asked, De seiscientos? I was surprised and needed some time to process, so I instinctively asked, Como? What? She repeated de seiscientos, which means of 600. You can also hear her ask fuerte at the end, which means strong. That's always a good word to know at the pharmacy. I vaguely remember that back home our ibuprofen pills were 200 milligrams, so I thought, okay, see. Si. I guess the 600 milligram pills were the strong ones. I asked her the price, she gave it to me, but it was hard to hear because there was a lady right there talking loudly in my ear. I actually left that part in there because of that, though. I like her voice. It reminds me of Spain. Here it is, one more time. Hola, tengo dolor de cabeza. Sí. Ya. Yeah. Algo. Ah, eh? uh, tiene ibuprofen. Sí. Yeah. De seiscientos. ¿Cómo? De seiscientos. El fuerte. Sí. ¿Cuánto cuesta? Uno con noventa. Así esto se ha topado. Se pasa. Muchas gracias. Ay. Buen día. So if you have a problem in a specific area, say dolor de, then point to your problem area. If you want a specific medicine, just try the name you know in English, but Spanishify it. The harder your problem is to explain, or the more you care about getting a specific medicine, the more important it is you look up the words you need before you leave. Okay, one more example. I'll show it to you, then we'll come back here to analyze it, then I'll show you the same clip again. Hola. Hola. Estoy constipado. Mm -hmm. Sobre cápsulas. Cápsulas. Nada más. Nada más. 6,70. 6 con 80. 70. 70. Muchas gracias. Oh. Gracias. Gracias. What? It's a pharmacy. You should just say what's bothering you, right? That's totally true. But what's also true is that I wasn't constipated. Not in English, anyway. In Spanish, in Spain only, actually, constipado means your nose is stuffed. It's the same principle if you think about it. In Spanish, they use that word, constipado, for the nose. We use it for the butt, constipated. That's one of my favorite parts of languages, finding that kind of stuff. I walked in and said, estoy constipado. I have a stuffy nose. He said, si, sí, then just like in the last clip went to the back but then suddenly he surprised me with a question too he said some stuff that i didn't really understand but at the very end i heard capsulas which sounded very much like capsules i said capsulas which is what i wanted for the record the other word upon further review was sobre which means envelope i assume he was offering me a powder i could put in water after that he asked algo mas anything else i gave him the obligatory nada mas or nothing else and then he told me the price seis con setenta six with seventy let's see that one again Hola. Hola. ¿Dónde? Estoy constipado. Sobre uh -huh. cápsulas. Cápsulas. 
nada más. Nada más. 6 con 70. 6 con 80. 70. 70. Muchas gracias. <laughs> Gracias. Hasta. Chao. Okay, that's it. If something's bothering you, look up the words you'll need to describe it, then get yourself to the nearest pharmacy. Getting to practice your Spanish in a new situation makes being sick at least a little fun. I hope you feel better soon. See you in the next video. Hasta luego.